So what we got for dinner today? I went out I was like, should I do chicken? Or should I make chicken biryani? Or should I make a burger? I was like leaning towards a burger, but then you know where like the butcher area and the grocery store, they had this like cooked and for people to try it. This sausage was amazing when I tried it. And I was like, where is it? He told me to stay and then I got one. And it tastes exactly like the sausages. I don't know if you have, do you have the butcher? Um, it's like, it's called the butcher. Like it's a restaurant for me. I don't know if you have it in your country, but it's really delicious. They have a lot of steaks and they, usually they bring you this kind of sausage, but it's cooked and in, a, in salsa and like uh, with heavy bread, like the thick bread, and then you can dip it and eat it. And it really tastes good. So I'm gonna do something today similar to it, but I'm not gonna cook it with salsa because I don't want that, but I'm gonna have like things on the side. Anyway, so we got this here. And we got potatoes and this is my dessert. Rice pudding and cream caramel. So yeah, I got two desserts because again I woke up I woke up late and I'm gonna be eating two times. Like basically it's I know it's dinner time but it's gonna be like my lunch time and then like around three AM or something, it's gonna be my dinner time. So yeah. I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna leave this here, I'm gonna do something, I actually got things to do, and then I'm gonna come back and cook. So I'm about to wash my potatoes and peel them and cut them and then show you. I'm going to coat them with olive oil and salt and put them in the air fryer like yesterday. So everything is ready, I'm gonna be putting all the fry here. And then put it inside for 15 minutes. So we got our first batch. This is gonna be the second. I'm gonna put this for 15 minutes. Here I got my fries and so the second batch is inside. I got my fries here ready. They're done. I'm not gonna do the mistake of like boom pouring them here but let me get them out so i will put my sausages here to eat them i decided to put the sausages here and not like um not fry them i thought better i might spray something on them i'll see so i'm using this uh, spoon i don't know whatever you want to call it whatever the term of kitchen appliance shit i don't know i don't know all i know in english it's a big ass spoon big ass spatula Ooh, spatula i cannot speak my tongue is fried up those days because you did not know what it is so i don't know why it happens in a lot of languages Basically, if I speak a lot of English all the time, then sometimes when I speak my own language, I'll be like, tongue twist. I have this tongue twist. Tongue twisted. And I'll just say like a word, a word like really in a wrong way. I'm like, what the fuck? When did I say that? It's real funny. You know, it happens. It happens. Like if you're like speaking and then you, you just randomly you just fuck up something so i'm gonna put my sausage right here i'm so hungry so let me just put the sausages really fast do not try to cut them i tried to cut one but then if you can you can cut them with a knife i tried but i did not want to mess them up and this is my first time to make those kind of sausages made other sausages but those are very tender and then they squeeze out like look anyway i'll spray now the cooking spray i'll spray this so i sprayed <coughs> some of it on top uh i don't know if i should do it without but it's my first time making them i don't want them to be dry out and i'm so hungry so maybe next time I'm going to try them without the spray so it's going to be healthier or better. 
I'm going to put it on the meat setting here. And then start. Oh my god, for some fucking reason, because I'm a psychic, I decided to take my AirPods just today while I'm recording. I don't know why. And then, this shit was in the air fryer. Be aware from oily things. And then I heard like, psh, and then I see like a lot of smoke coming, like a little bit of smoke from here. I pulled it out. I guess the smoke was too much. And uh, yeah, you can see it's already got its own oil inside, so do not put a lot of oil. And I guess the oil was like bubbling. So I'm just gonna take it and do it there. So this got me like a little bit of panic attack. You should always unplug anything that you use for cooking whenever you finish because I saw like cases of fire that happened while like you shut everything down and there's like a lot of grease inside and once you put it here in the block even if it was off there's some kind of like electricity blow and sometimes coats fire so just plug it up okay so I guess if you want to put any sausages in the air fryer do not put oil on top of them like I did because they end up being too oily look at them like there's like oil inside and this is what i thought because the guy did not put any oil and just but he had like a top like this you know the the grilling top the electric one and then you put them on top but i did not see him doing anything i just it was ready on top so and it was like already greasy so i was like wondering but there's like grease in it so yeah let me put it on the frying mood here and cook it here i guess look at this this is what i mean look at this there's like already a lot of liquid and grease inside it that's why it was like going crazy in the air fire when i sprayed more on top of it and then the guy was like pressing on them so this is like a guy just like a burger or a normal hot dog I did not know how they were to keep that fire so now we know so let's do not put it in the air fire one of them just popped out and then there is a lot of liquid came out of it like really liquid I feel like it's okay if it's in the air fryer, but those kind, look, I mean the oil is going to go down, but look at the smoke. Maybe the normal sausages. Let me cook them. Okay, they are done. I'm gonna take them out. I don't know. I tasted one, but it tastes a little bit different. So I don't know if I took the exact same sausage that I tasted or it was another kind there and he thought that I ate this kind. And then he told me, I was feeling that it's wrong. I asked him again, is it this one? He said, yeah. And then I told him, he said, yeah. But the other kind was a bit white and it tasted a little bit more spices maybe it's the same but i don't know i'm confused it still tastes good but let me take it out one minute i'll take it out now so i made my sausages they are ready they taste really good they are better than the you know the normal sausages or the sausages that you buy and then my fries are here so i'm gonna lay it on in my on my blades and then show you so I could not find a barbecue sauce to mix it up with the curry but basically this is something I learned in Germany when they eat sausage I think ketchup is gonna be fine so I'm gonna mix it up here with some curry powder I wanted to make my like other dips but I'm like very tired right now from cooking want to eat so 
but yeah. So we are done. I had to make some toast because I got no other bread. But this is like a sweet toast, like French one. And yeah, I'm gonna eat and watch something. I'm pretty much exhausted right now. What drink I'm gonna have today is this here. Ginger ale. So I'm done. Needless to say, it was good. And I had to use a fork. It was easier than this tiny thing. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna do a few things and then I'm gonna show you later. Bye. Hi, so it's been an hour. An hour and more. And I'm gonna have this here coffee and some protein pancake. This is my favorite. <clears throat> it is me laughing before even watching the prank. So I'll make me some snack to watch with this prank since I don't watch a lot of screen time. Like a day I watch like one prank or something. And then take a break for my eyes and then maybe just read some text messages or reply and take a break and so on but i don't watch a lot that one i'm going to put this lobster crackers do you know those i love them with some dip so i got my chili garlic sweet sauce and then i got my hot sauce from my dinner leftovers and then i got my lobster cracker i gonna drink water with it it's uh, the next day i just got up and it's late like 5 p.m so i was thinking about what to get i was like should I make a burger or should I? I like to make my burger from scratch, so I was like, those body. And then I saw the brain, it's my favorite. I was like, should I cook it? Maybe another day. I actually was doing my nails. I've put this color here. So I'm going to put some nail art <laughs> stickers. Why well, I'm laughing because I went to the salon and I was like, I want some nail art. And the women brought me some stickers and she just sticked them on my nails and put a top card. I'm like, they tell me like I'm paying like a lot of money for one nail for this shit. When I can buy five of those for three with the amount of fun sticker that you just sticked on my nails so you're not gonna draw it yourself I said no because uh, my nails were broken that time they were short like this and i was like okay so i'm doing nail art now <laughs> so that's it and then you put the top coat top coat on top of them for them to stay so my nails are done had to wipe the table. I wanted to show you this tiny brand of nail polishes. I wanted to try them because they have they had like metallic colors and I was looking for metallic colors and then I found them. But I got those for my little cousin because she likes to put nail polish. And I was shocked that she done her own nails. Like I thought some adult or someone put the nail polish on her hand because it was too perfect. And yeah, so I got her this because it fits her little hand. She's five years old. And then when I started putting nail polish on her nails, she was like, oh, you left, a, you left here like a space. You left here a space. She was just too precise. So I got her those tiny ones if you got like a baby girl or a boy, does not matter, who likes nail polishes, you can get them that. So I got some sausages just like yesterday, but I also got matcha because I don't have any matcha. I ran out of matcha latte. So I'm gonna do a different style today, the style that I was talking to you about. 
from the restaurant so yeah so the first thing that i'm gonna do is make me a cup of coffee because i like to have coffee while i'm working or cooking so i learned from yesterday i'm not gonna put it in the air fryer even though that i'm not gonna spray oil i'm gonna do it here because anyway this is what i'm gonna use okay like that because we're gonna cook it again but i'll try i don't want to like burn it or like make it too cold i want it a little bit moist so i'm gonna take them out so it looks fine and cut them so you want to cut them to small pieces and then i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do let me just cut them real fast so i cut everything and i'm gonna add it again and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I added everything again here and I'm going to add some minced garlic already one because I got no time right now to cut any garlic. I'm kind of feeling a bit tired, so I'm gonna add a little bit of it. So I'm going to add about three. Because we're gonna add a lot of things, and don't worry, this one is not too heavy. Want to cook just a little bit, not too much, because we again want this to be so tender, right? Probably I should have just added the garlic first and then the sausage, maybe do that. I did not think ahead. some seasoning because there's no salt here so for me i'm gonna put some bone broth just to make it more healthy and i'm going to add stop it a little bit and i'm going to add like some other seasoning i'm actually gonna add some curry powder and uh, some uh, salt or just uh, other spices Oh, I put some curry powder and I'm gonna put some of this. What do you call it? Cajun? Cajun? Whatever. I put a little bit of this here. I'm gonna close it and let it cook in a different. setting. I'm gonna put it on chicken because 15 minutes is okay we do have this from all the seasoning yeah it's ready i'm not gonna eat now but i'm gonna show you because i'm gonna eat later let me give i'm gonna show you how good this is basically it's like a thick sauce and it smells so good I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna shower. <coughs> Cannot speak. And then come back because I smell like all of that grilling. And I do shower at night. So yeah. Later.
So I just got out of the shower. I've been using this. Let me show you the English. Friday body conditioner. It's very easy. So when you put it in the shower and then you rinse it out and your body's moisturized. You don't need to put lotion when you get out. I'm gonna brush my hair, but whatever I need to put it. I'm gonna show you. I've been obsessed with this product from Lash. I don't know if it's new or I did not notice that before. I think it's a new product. And it's really good. It's really good. So here, my hair is ready, but it's still wet. I'm going to add something else to it. And like, it smells really good. So I'm going to add actually this here. I got two of them because this smells like heaven. Also this one here. I got this roots one. I use it not that much. And I got the wave here, the spray, sea spray, sea spray. I think they used to call it something else. And uh, this is gonna make your hair dry. I don't know if I need it. I think it's more like for wavy hair, but sometimes I use it. Different hairstyles, anyway. And those here, those products. I use this a lot, but recently I've been not using it. And this here. Since I got this, I need to get a bigger one. I got the smaller one because I wanted to try it. And this I got too because this is a new one because I like it. I'm gonna spray some of it. So this is how I do my hair. And then I'll just separate my hair with my hand so they would not, my curls would not get sticky. And what else? So usually when it dries out, if you have a hair perfume, you can spray on. I don't do that. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that. I have a lot of hair perfumes that I did not use. And um, sometimes I put some of this oil. I'm gonna show you. Here. It does not have any smell. Black seed oil. I'm gonna put a little bit in my hand and then I put it down under like just the bottom of my curls. Uh, should I do that? I'm gonna put some of it today. So that's it, and uh, I'm not going to blow dry it or anything because it's night time now. Um, I'm going to flip my hair like this and then like that, and then that's it. Yep. And this oil got no strong smell to it, but it got a smell, so sometimes I don't like it. Sometimes I like it, it depends on my mood. But it would not like have a strong smell like other oils, like disgusting smell. So when you mix it up with uh, the other things that you put on your hair, it smells really fresh. And uh, yeah, it smells nice. It does not smell disgusting because I don't like putting hair oil and smelling like that. Uh, or as I said, like when it dries out, you can put some perfume in your hair. And I'm going to use now a perfume actually. I'm going to put on my body i usually spray this on my body when i get out of the shower and then later on during the day i have more perfumes there did not put here because i was like organizing the place i would just uh, usually use this a lot you can see the bottle is about half empty i don't know if i got a new bottle i actually got a lot of perfumes that i forgot like what are those perfumes that i got so i have to check so i would not buy extra ones and uh, this here, I mix it up sometime with other perfumes. I used to put this one with that. This one is actually empty. I put it here. Like, there's some of it. I put it here so I, I'd be reminded to buy one. I think I bought one. This is the thing, like, I wanted to be reminded to check if I bought one or not. And that one, I mix them all together. Like, I would spray this and that and sometime with this and that. And people will stop me. And the other... Now the perfume is uh, the Gucci one that smells like jasmine. I got this jasmine one. This is the jasmine perfume from Lash. It smells like jasmine, but it's not like the Gucci one. When you spray it at first, it does not smell that like intense jasmine. It smells really weird, like chemical or I don't know. It smells really good, but when it cools down, it's good. But today I'm going to spray this one here.
without one. Yeah. So I'm ready to eat. This is my inside the house look. And yeah, I got my Crocs. I'm gonna wear my robe because it's cold. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god, I actually forgot to wear face lotion. And this is my favorite. I have a sensitive skin and this been the shit that I've been working right now. And it's really amazing. Here it's cold. It's been getting cold and then warm again and cold at night. And it's not that cold, but yesterday was a bit cold. Like, yeah, it would get chills, you know? It depends. But yeah, I'm gonna go eat. Are you ready to see my food? So I got my food ready. I got my, uh, again, organic, natural cola. And here are my sausages and my bread. Those are very delicious and actually in the in the butcher shop is it butcher butcher shop called restaurants or something they got the same thing but I feel like they cooking it inside they did not do the procedure that I done like they cooking it directly in the sauce but it was lighter sauce than this with a lot of onion and um it was like a bit lighter like oranges orange kind of color orangish so and they serve it with some bread but they have big loaf of bread and then you can eat some like while you're waiting for your food and it's really really delicious and those are sausages not in a can like they are like fresh right sausages so they're good and healthy anyway i'm going to eat and watch a prank because it's like my screen time of a of the day for the day and i hope you liked it Bye. So, needless to say that it was good. I'm very full right now. I still have some left. And it's really, really good. I end up, ended up not putting the bone broth. I forgot. It, it got no taste, but it's healthier. It makes the food healthier. Especially if you're into fitness and you're calculating all the protein. And I was like looking at this cola and I was like, 1990? That is a year before i was born and i was like i bet like the universe told them because i'm psychic now like thinking this way they sense of course i'm joking they're yeah, like alan is gonna come to planet earth next year so we're gonna make this cola for her because <coughs> she ain't drinking no other bullshit. <laughs> so i'm going to take this and empty it in the container of my dirty dishes to be washed and i'm gonna make me a cup of coffee and do some work